Welcome back to the Opti Pro Show. It's me, Tommy Bechtold, and today we are here with Vince Canarozzo, and we are talking Mastercam. Now, Opti Pro has many, many important facets that we do here with the company, but one thing that we like to make people aware of is we are a registered channel partner of Mastercam. That's Vince, true. How long have you been working with Mastercam? We've been. I've been working here at Opti Pro for sixteen years. Sixteen. Uh, Opti Pro's been with Mastercam reseller for more than thirty-five years. Yeah, I think my dad might have been in the garage when uh, the original Mastercam was yeah. demoed. Now, definitely, we appreciate your sixteen years of service. We definitely owe you a cake or a watch or something. Unfortunately, today we're not here to glorify you. Although we do try to lift up our employees every day, we're here to talk about Mastercam twenty-five, which is launching imminently. It's launching July 1st. Wow. So that is literally, literally days away or depending on when you're watching, it's already happened. Now, there are so many interesting new features and add-ons that you have with Mastercam 2025, but there's a very specific one you want to talk about today. There's one I want to talk about today, and it's the Deburr Toolpath. Mm -hmm. uh, Deburr Toolpath has been released in Mastercam for several years now, and it was typically only... Uh, let's see accessible if you had the multi-axis add-on mm. package but now with the release of 25 you could purchase the simple add-on of just the deburring toolpath mm. now what the deburring toolpath does is it allows you to use either a spherical cutter or a lollipop cutter and deburr in either three four or five axis mode mm. so there's been a big call for the three axis world to be able to do it and save money by not having a whole deburring department, but to be able to use this tool path. It can be used with either a mill or lathe, mill turn machine. It's available for everything. So there's also a safety element to this. Right, you don't have to be touching the parts by hand, possibly using a roto burr tool and then it slips off and then everyone's cut themselves. If you've done any deburring in your life, you'll find that out. You wanna be able to do this in the machine and the worst that can happen is that maybe you'll break a cutter and not break your finger or cut yourself. Oh, okay, so we're saving money and we're keeping things safer. That sounds like a winning combination to me. Can you show us how it works? I will show you. I'm gonna show you a couple different examples. I'm gonna get on the Mastercam, fire it up, and show you what it looks like. All right, let's roll the demo. Hello everybody, this is Vince Canarozzo here from OptiPro Systems, and I'm here to show you one of the new features coming out, Mastercam 2025. It's called the Deburr Toolpath. Previously, it was only available if you had the multi-axis add-on, but with the release of 2025, you can now purchase this particular toolpath to do all your three-axis deburring. Let's get into it. Let me show you just how it works. We're going to go up here. We're going to select Deburr. We're going to create a tool. And with Deburr Toolpath, you could use either spherical or lollipop cutters to do your deburring. So I just have a regular 250 spherical cutter defined. I'm going to go down to Cut Pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select. I'm going to select the whole part. By selecting the whole part, I'm making the system aware of all the different features on there and it'll know what to avoid and what to cut. For my edges that I want to define, I could either go auto detect and the system will just go ahead and find all the intersections or I could just go user defined and just tell which edge or edges I want it to work with. So I'm just going to select this. I'm going to come down this side here. Actually, right here. Walk it through. Done. Now, in the in the parameters, we can go with a constant width or constant depth, and then specify the size. What we want to do with the inner corners, if we're doing you know around the pocket and such, we could you know make it a relief, so it can go in there and relieve them also if you want to. We're going to climb cut and we want to make either a flat or a rounded. A rounded you're going to have to add multiple cuts in there to get to get the feature on there. Extension and overlap is used if we were just defining the edge like I did right here. 
I could tell it to start a certain distance away from where the edge starts and come off of that edge. So let's just put a value of, let's say, 0.300 just so we could see it. Surface quality, cut tolerance, you know, we could get tighter depending on the what the feature looks like. Tool axis control. We're going to set it to three axis. You see we have the ability for four plus one, four axis rotary, five axis simultaneous, or three plus two. We're going to stick with three axis. And we're going to tell the system to look in our my WCS where my Z axis is set. We could add additional clearances in here. Once we get into tighter situations, we could control how close the cutter gets to walls. Like if we have a, a cutter that's really close to the diameter of the hole or, or feature that we're doing, we could really get crazy and, and get it really close to it if we want to. Linking, I'm going to set it to automatic. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this. And you see it wrote a tool path. So if we start here, if I go in the back plot, you're going to see it's about 300 away. It's going to come, it's going to arc in. I'll step this through. And if we move in on that, we could see that it's taken that 10 thousandths cut right here. Let's go here. Oh, and we got, and we have a little feature there where we're biting in. But that's okay, because we could take care of that if we're careful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in here, go back to my cut pattern, I'm going to select another feature. So I'm going to select this face, end it, I'm going to regenerate the tool path. If I back plot it now, see that it comes distance away that I had defined and now I'm not smacking into the wall. Let me show you another example here. I'm just going to go into geometry. I'm going to select another feature. I'm going to go in here and add a chain. I'm going to add this hole right here. go ahead and regenerate it and you'll see that it, it does a sidewall and now it comes up and goes over to the center and deeper is the top of that hole it's through and you'll see because this is why we define the whole part right because the system's working with the gouge check software so it's going around the whole part coming in and then if we zoom in on this feature, we can see we're taking our 10,000s cut there also. It's deburring this hole. That's one of the features of the deburr. I'll show you another example using a lollipop. I have a file set up for that. I'm just going to call it up real quick. Nope, I have them made already. That's okay. We would do this the same way. We're going to select our features. If I go back into this toolpath, you can see that I have the whole part selected. And my edges I defined are underneath. In this case, I'm using a lollipop cutter show you what that looks like. So pretty standard. Tool axis control again set the three axis WCS. Linking still set the same. We're going to make it spline in between. Let's go ahead and give that a back plot. Get this up. We're going to zoom in and I'm going to step through. You're going to see it's going to arc in going to find the position of the lollipop cutter where it can cut because we defined our cut zone here 
I'm just going to walk all the way around. Arc out, arc through the middle. See we're splined over. Back in to cut the other feature. And there it is. So, new feature, D Brewer for three axis tool pass. Uh, it's an add on. Contact us here at OptiPro, get you with pricing. If you have any other questions regarding it, again, call us up here at the office. We can walk through some other examples if you'd like to see them. Thanks a lot for your time. Look for me coming back with more features. Well, Vince, thank you so much for that great demo. Remind us again, when does MasterCam 25 come out? 25 is coming out July 1st, officially, will be released to public. All right. And then people with any questions, where can they contact us? They contact us here at OptiPro. So All ask right. for myself or anybody in the MasterCam department. If you want to see something that pertains to the type of work that you're doing or a part that you have to see if it would be applicable to what you need, let us know and we'd be happy to demo it for you. All right, that's it for Vince and I today. We've got lots more OptiPro and some very special MasterCam content coming up in the upcoming weeks. So please stay tuned to this channel for some really, really cool stuff. Until then, thanks so much.